All right, uh, let's look at the sum of cubes formula. All right, so we have the summation of i cubed. i goes from 1 to n is exactly the same thing as summation of i. Uh, i goes from 1 to n, and then raise the whole thing to the second power. So since we already know the formula for summation of i, which is n times n plus 1 over 2, so we just have to square that. All right. So uh, let's try to establish this equality here. And I'm going to try to start with the right-hand side, try to see we can get to the left-hand side. All right. So I'm going to write, on, uh, write down the right-hand side first. All right. So the right-hand side is going to be all right, summation of i is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to n. And since it's square, so I multiply by itself. All right. So then I'm going to try to distribute each term to each term on the other one. So you have 1 times 1, 1 times 2, and so on. So all these terms are recorded in this table right here. Right? So 1 times 1, 1 times 2, and so on. So all we have to do is add all these terms together. Right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to group uh, these terms in a particular way. Right? So first term... I'm going to just uh, have the first guy. So it's 1 times 1. All right, second group, I'm going to add 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 1. All right, so since uh, everyone has 2 in it, I factor out 2. So you have a 1 plus 2 plus 1. So that's why you have here. All right, third group, uh, all these guys have uh, 3 in it. So pull it out. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So that's that. Then you keep on doing that. And the last one is all these guys have n in it. So I pull n out. Then you do 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to n. Then go down n minus 1 all the way to 1. So we have that. All right. Then uh, we try to simplify each uh, parentheses there. All right. So let's do that. All right. So first one is I'm going to just keep it as 1 times 1. A second one here, I'm going to write this guy as uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it's going to be 2 plus 2. All right, so 1 plus one, uh, 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and you have another 3, so you have three threes here. All right, so here are two twos, and then you have three threes, and then four fours, and the last one is obviously 1 plus n minus 1 gives you n, 2 plus n minus 2 gives you n, so you're going to get n n's together. So what we get is uh, we're going to get this. So inside the parentheses, right, we're going to get 1. You can write it as 1 times 1. And 2 plus 2 can be written as 2 times 2. 3 plus 3 plus 3 can be written as 3 times 3. n plus n all the way to n can be written as n times n. So therefore, we get exactly what we want. Uh, first term gives you 1 cubed. Second term, you have 3 2, so three, uh, 2 cubed. And then you get 3 cubed, and so on. And the last term is n cubed, which is exactly the same thing as the left-hand side. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.